Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. Today I'd like to read an email that I received from a viewer that was concerning. There is this trend I've been talking about on this channel for a while where more and more devices connect to the internet that in my opinion have no business connecting to the internet. I don't need my television to connect to the internet. There is no reason for that. If I wish for my television to connect to the internet, I can connect my computer to my television, a device that actually gives me some semblance of freedom that will work when I turn it on again without forcing me to sign away my right via forced arbitration or say fuck you you're not allowed to use your TV anymore see the problem with any device that uses closed source software that requires a connection to the internet in order to work is that that means that the manufacturer can take back the features and functionality of the device at any point in time further it means that the manufacturer can change the terms of the sale as long as the device needs to connect to the manufacturer's servers in order to work and as long as it has the ability to do that without you taking it away the manufacturer can change the terms of the sale and they can change the conditions under which the device will work. For instance, when it came to cameras, I talked about this with Arlo last year. They did change their mind after getting enough people uh, pissed off about it, but at the end of the day, they did have the ability to change the terms of the sale. Something was advertised in the box, they decided to stop providing it. And because that software did not allow you to choose which server you connected to, but it only could connect to the manufacturer's server, they were allowed to change the terms of the sale. This is a company that made a baby monitor that caused cost 400 fucking dollars. And after selling you a baby monitor that costs 10 times what any baby monitor should cost. If that is not a fucking JBL 4310 loudspeaker hiding as a baby monitor, you got ripped off. But I digress. This is a baby monitor that advertised certain features and functionality that later on, because it has to connect to the internet, became a subscription. So after paying 400 bucks for a baby monitor, you had to subscribe. Sony recently decided, hey, you know what? Hey, I know we used the word purchase when describing what you were doing, but actually, uh, yeah, we, we, it was a, you know, it was a temporary license that's revocable at any time. By the way, we used the word purchase, but eh, that's just not going to be in your library anymore. As long as you have to connect to the internet in order to use your stuff to view what you bought and paid for, it can be taken away. And conversely, we are going to be talking about that with Roku televisions as well. This is an email that came from a viewer that uh, is something that I find particularly disgusting. I haven't kept up with all these things and been reading my email as much as I should for the past two months and I do apologize for that. I've been making some massive life changes that I'm exceptionally excited about and I'm kind of taking a lot of what I've been doing for the past 15 to 17 years, table flipping and trying something new. It's pretty fun. I've done it several times over the course of my life. Sometimes it goes very well, sometimes it goes very horribly. But one thing I've learned over the course of 35 years on this earth is that you should always be trying new things if something isn't working for you or you just kind of get bored. Anyway, back to this. Hi, Lewis. I turned on my 55-inch TCL Smart TV today to be greeted by a pop-up that said they made an important update with nothing but a single agree button on. And I talk about Silicon Valley companies. One of the things you may have heard me say on this channel many times that I get from Eli the Computer Guy is that they have a rapist mentality. They believe they have a God-given right to your data, to your information, to take away away your rights and to change the terms of the sale. In this case, there is no disagree button. There is only an agree button because for me, you're only allowed to say yes. I'm going to put the roofie in your drink and you cannot say no. That's the way these companies think and it's disgusting. Pressing back or any other key could not get you out of the pop-up, even to get to your HDMI input or other inputs. So a television is kind of like a monitor, and a monitor is something where you know you may have multiple inputs. You're going to want to choose one of those inputs so that you could connect something to it, like a Blu-ray player or a computer or a cable box or a DVR. And here, you're not allowed to do that unless you agree. You're not allowed to disagree. You're not allowed to say no. Fuck you. We want to change the terms of the sale, and we're going to do it right now. And because this device connects to the internet, and you can't change it, we're dealing with the South Park Cable Guy episode. If you press star, it would show you details about the update, which was just a lengthy terms update adding all sorts of one-sided binding arbitration. Binding arbitration means that you cannot sue the company, you cannot take them to court for any reason, you can only go through arbitration. Arbitration is a process whereby the company hires a company to essentially investigate themselves. You don't, you get, it's, it's not a court that's paid for by your tax dollars, by society collectively. It is a court that is paid for by the company that is being accused of doing something wrong that may decide to choose another arbitration company if this arbitration company finds against them. Imagine if I was on trial for murder and I got to choose which court, which judge, 
in which jury decided whether or not I'm guilty. And if I didn't like the decision that you gave me here, eh, fuck it, I'll just go somewhere else. I'll go down the road and pay for another trial. Imagine if that was the way the world works. Welcome to the world of binding arbitration. Now, you may think that that's disgusting. You may think that that's inappropriate, which is precisely why when they cram this shit down your throat, they only do it in cases where you have no ability to disagree, such as you already paid for the product, the product requires an internet connection to work, and they have the ability to disable you from being able to click onto your other fucking HDMI inputs unless they get to be rapists and get what they want. Agree, say yes, comply, or take the roofie. That is your modern tech company. So Roku pushed an update. It essentially holds your TV hostage unless you agree to binding arbitration. I called TCL, and they've apparently been getting quite a few calls about this. They were able to walk me through doing a factory reset, which, as long as you don't connect to the internet afterwards, does work to allow you to use your TV again. Well, how Christian of you. I'm now allowed to use the product that I paid full price for after wasting 15 minutes factory resetting it, losing all my settings, having to do everything from scratch, and losing all the features and functionality with internet connectivity that I paid for because you decided to use that internet connectivity to hold me hostage. Similar to how certain political YouTubers may not like their wives being able to have their own fucking car, the internet connection that was once something that was used to give me freedom is now used to hold me hostage. Figured you might find this interesting. Let me know if you'd like me to mess around with it to get some pictures, if it may be helpful for you. Unfortunately, he was not able to get me the pictures that I was looking for because he clicked through it a little quickly. Over here, you'll see on Gizmodo and TechCrunch, it says what's actually new in the perusal of terms is the whole informal dispute resolution section. This requires anyone with legal complaints to take them to Roku lawyers first, who will conduct a meet and confer call and then make a fair, fact-based offer of resolution. Suck my nutsack, Roku. That will no doubt be generous generous and thoughtful. So they've added a pre-arbitration arbiter to further distance legal threats from materializing. The change was actually made last fall, though no notifications appear to have been sent out, but only came into effect recently. I try to opt out of these when I can, and after reading the terms, which of course by continuing to use my TV, I had already agreed. I fa uh, by the way, you know, again, just, just since you've been sitting next to me at this bar, just so you know, that continuing to sit next to me for the next 30 minutes constitutes enthusiastic consent to come home with me later. And, oh, you, oh you, didn't, you didn't know I said that? I wrote it on the napkin. These companies genuinely act like rapists nowadays. And I get so many comments from people saying, this is offensive. Lewis, that language makes me mad. Don't use that. I don't care. It's language that needs to be used. This is the mentality that these companies have. And they're going to continue doing it and getting away with it unless people start pushing back. And you get people to start pushing back by comparing what they are doing to something that somebody else, that does something else that's very wrong, has the exact same mindset when they are taking part in this behavior. This needs to be called out and seen for what it is. Because if it is seen as just, oh, you know, they did something mildly consumer and friendly, people are still going to buy it. They're going to make excuses for it. If you call it what it is, a rapist mentality, you draw that line in the sand, you will be able to justify never giving them money again even if it's inconvenient, even if you lose features you want, even if you wind up spending an additional $30 to buy a product that doesn't have this garbage. The only reason, in my opinion, that we live in a society where we tolerate this garbage is because we are willing to fight amongst one another and we are willing to advocate for other people to strip us of our rights. And the last video that I did, there was a comment from somebody saying, yeah, you unlock the bootloader, but you know, you should, you should be have the warranty voided if you do that because maybe you can install something that, that, that you know, uh, fries the CPU with your phone. Have you tried using Prime 95 on any AMD computer around 1997 and 1999? You know, have you, have you tried that? You, you don't void your warranty on those computers by running Prime 95, much less installing a different operating system, which is all you need to do to void the warranty on this piece of shit and apparently give up all your fucking rights of ownership and the ability to sell it. When it comes to televisions, I have seen time and time and time again, people beat each other up in the comments, using it as an excuse to boost their ego by claiming that you asked for it by buying something cheap. You're broke. The way I'm going to make myself feel better about my perceived increased value to society, the way I'm going to make myself feel better about my pencil dick and tiny ego is by pretending that this has anything to do with how much money you have. That is a moral and ethical judgment. You are poor and you bought a cheap 
cheap television, so you deserve to get advertised too. You deserve to have your rights taken away. One of the things that I remember doing in the anti-sponsor segment of a video that I uploaded two months ago when I was going over LG in this video is I made sure to highlight this with a $3,700 television. You'll see this so much in the comments. You deserve that. You bought an Android phone, Brokey. You bought this brand. You earned that. You shouldn't have gotten. Instead of fighting and pushing back against companies that are collectively laughing as they institute policies that rob us fucking blind, we are fighting and bickering over nothing so that we can have a kick of dopamine and a 5% increase in our ego that doesn't even last more than a half hour. This is a $3,600 television. The LG G3 OLED 77 inch is one of the most expensive televisions on the market. And this television, by default, tells you that all of your data is going to be going somewhere else. Interest-based and cross-device advertising, all this different crap, viewing information agreement, where they can see what you're viewing and upload it. This is not opt-in. This is opt-out. You have to go through the menu settings in your television and spend 10 minutes going through every single fucking menu to find an option that says, do not sell my personal data. Because apparently when I have given you $3,600 to buy one of the most expensive televisions on the market, that's not enough money for you to try and fucking rob me blind. You have an item in my home that connects to my internet. You have an item in my home that has a microphone in it. And I have to opt out, not opt in from my personal data being collected. Do you think I would ever fucking connect this device to the internet when it has a microphone in it and by default, this company has such a rapist mentality that they try to get me to agree to a binding arbitration agreement because they have it written on the fucking box of the refrigerator that the delivery guy throws away before he even puts it in my house. Do you think I'm gonna trust that company when I have to unclick rather than click onto, do not sell my personal data. We are gonna spend so much time in the comments watching people say TCL is a brand for poor people, therefore they deserve it. Search the internet, look on some forums, look on some news websites, I guarantee you're gonna see that. I see this in almost every forum when somebody's talking about Apple stuff versus Android stuff. God forbid you go into the car world, you will see this everywhere. We fight amongst ourselves so much that there is nothing left, there's no energy left for us to fight for our actual rights. When we purchase is something, there are terms in that sale. And you cannot change the terms of that sale to take away my rights to a trial. And if you are legally able to do that in this country, fuck the FTC and fuck our government for being so asleep that they allowed it to happen, that they allowed these companies to act like they own us. And frankly, I don't see why they shouldn't act like they own us, because if this shit is legal, they already do. I genuinely believe that we are soon going to be at a point where if you want to have dignity in what you own, if you want the ability to purchase a computer and put an operating system of it on your choice without literally committing a crime when you decide to sell that device to your neighbor with an open source operating system on it that is licensed under a false license. You are going to have to start buying stuff that's 10 years old, maybe even 20 years old, if you want to have rights. It is disgusting. I don't like it. I have been a technology enthusiast for almost my entire life. I like playing with new things. I like playing with old things, whether we're talking about the newest version of Logic Pro or we're talking about a Pultec 1951 equalizer, a Neve 8088 or the newest version of Pro Tools. We're talking about the newest Class D amplifiers or a Marantz 1060, whether we're talking about the JBL M2 or the JBL 4312. I like all types of technology. New, old, cheap, expensive, dare I say it, difficult to fix, easy to fix. I work on Apple products for a living. God knows I'm a glutton for punishment. I hate accepting this. It makes me sick accepting this. But if I want to feel like I have any freedom over what I've bought and purchased, if I want to have any sense of dignity that I actually own this, and that it doesn't still belong to the company, that's just renting it to me out of the goodness of their heart after they committed the charitable deed of allowing me to give them $3,600 of my money. We are going to have to buy old shit. Or dare I say it, we're going to have to live without. It's either that or accept this is the future. Because as long as we continue to give these companies money, they're going to continue doing it. Why would they not continue doing it? Why would your abuser not continue abusing you if they continue to get away with it and get exactly what they want out of you? It's only once you say that you're going to leave the abuser that the abuser starts to think about changing. And dare I say it, a lot of the times, even if you say you're going to change, they keep abusing you anyway. The best way to deal with leaving an abusive relationship is to build up a support system of friends and family members that are going to support you and cheer you on as you do it and make sure you don't go back to the abuser. We all need to do this together. Sometimes it's going to be tempting to get something new and shiny. Sometimes I act stupid. God knows I do this shit from time to time. I can't blame you for it. But if we're going to actually change the future, if we're going to live in a world where we actually buy things and we own them and the company doesn't own us and the product we've purchased after we paid for it, 
it's going to take a little bit of discipline. It's going to take a little bit of action. And at the end of the day, it's going to take a little support from your fellow man. Other people that tell you, hey, I know you want this for this feature. This thing that's eight years old already has this feature and does everything you want and is cheaper. By the way, there's no way for it to connect to the internet and change the terms of the sale afterwards. Hey, by the way, this is a local API. It's nine years old. Most people don't know about it. You can flash it with this firmware. We are going to have to provide support structures for each other. The people in our life are like, hey, you know, I understand why you want to buy that. Here's something you could get instead that I think does the same job, just so you know. But I support you in whatever your decision is. It's important. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. And I'm happy to see you all in the next video. I'm happy to be back, happy to be doing videos again, and above all, kind of happy to get on to the next stage of my life. I'll see you all later.